Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at Art Hampton. And I am here with the founder, Mr. Rick Friedman. And this is going to be a very, very exciting weekend. It's beginning. Tell me when it's when it starts. Tonight, absolutely. The, the actual time. Yeah, Cognac, it's eighth year we've been together. We've seen you for eight years. Uh, here we are on the eighth Lumber Lane and Scuttlehole Road. July 4th weekend, 2, 3, 4, 5. We expect thousands and thousands of people here. We have 70 galleries from 14 countries. The average gallery traveled 2,700 miles to come here. Oh my God. And the, these paintings are from all over the world. All over there, every corner of the world. Yeah, there, there's 400 artists being represented here. Is there from an, Russia, China, everywhere. Is there an estimated value of all these paintings? Yeah, is it like millions question. of dollars? Yeah, it's about $40 million. $40 million. Wow. 40 smackaroos. Yeah, it's hard to sell them all, but, but uh, we'll do the best we can. We expect to sell millions of dollars of art this weekend. Okay. Tell me what is some of the artists that are premiering their you know, art. It's really, you know, we have some of the big names like, you know, the Andy Warhols and, and you know, the Coonings and, and, and Alex Katz and people like that. And then we have some really up-and-coming artists like David Dutun, who did the American flag. He did the 14th for the American flag. We just made a movie about him, actually, and uh, from Russia, and he's great. So it's, there's 400 artists here. <laughs> I can't wait. Tell my audience where we could go to find out more information. What's the website? Sure, www.arthamptons.com, 631-283-5505, Lumber Lane and Scuttlehole Road in Bridgehampton. You're gorgeous. Great, thanks. <laughs> and we'll be back yeah. in a moment, darling. Some more interviews right here at Art Hampton. Pink champagne kisses. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and I'm here with Kevin Berlin, famous artist Kevin Berlin, and uh, he is here with his gorgeous model. I'd like to introduce you to Elsa, who came all the, <laughs> who came all the way to Art Hamptons. Uh, I've been uh, in six months in Florence, Italy. I've been painting Nutella. Nutella, how fabulous. Nutella is something that was invented in, just after the war, the Second War, and it's a chocolatey hazelnut spread that makes people happy. And I don't mean the cliche happy, I mean really happy. And I think that I like to paint about things that get people excited. We all have a lot of things in common. We all want to have friends. We all want to look beautiful. We all want to build something and be a part of the future. But sometimes we need just a little pick-me-up. Maybe our day's going a little slow and Nutella can do that. I, I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree. Nutella is a big pick-me-up, especially when you're tired and weak and you've been running around like me interviewing a million celebrities. Mm. I need I need a Nutella. Well, you know we all have these moments when uh, you need more than just a friend. More than just a friend, darling. Tell my audience where we can go to find out more about your artwork. If you go to kevinberlin.com, K-E-V-I-N-B-E-R-L-I-N.com, I've been traveling all over the world, and my new series of paintings is called Bad Ballerinas. And I'm painting about all the things that ballerinas do in secret that they don't tell you. You know, drinking and smoking and all the things their mothers told them not to do. And I spent a lot of time in Russia recently. But I'm taking a break from the heaviness of Swan Lake and Romeo and Juliet and Giselle and all those unhappy endings. And so I'm just enjoying Art Hamptons here with Elsa. And yeah, Elsa looks uh, really spectacular. Elsa, what kind of a... Tell me about your gown. What are you wearing? I'm wearing just a white gown and I had created the train off the back. Her, her mom was helping to <laughs> sew it on this morning. She lives right here in Long Island and she's studying to be a pastry chef. Elsa, spell your full name. We want to give you a credit. Uh, my first name is Kristen, K-R-I-S-T-I-N, and the last name is Mackie, M-A-C-K-I-E. Gorgeous. You both are terrific. And always, it's always a joy to interview you, Kevin. Thank you, Dawn. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up right here at Art Hampton. Big champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Water Lane, and we are here with artist William Quigley. And he's going to talk about why he loves Art Hampton so much. Well, I love Rick and Sunila Wakefield. 
they're amazing people. They have brought you know, a lot of attention to the art world and the artists they show and represent first class. Scholars from all over the world come. The Hamptons is amazing. Yes, <laughs> it's always, it is. It's always nice to come out here and kind of enjoy the surf and the sand. And uh, you'll see what different people from around the world are doing and different galleries and, and uh, you know, meet different people you never met before, all do kind of similar things or not. So I think it's a great, you know, amalgamation or collaboration or, you know, a place to get away from something different other than a lawn party, you know, with some sort of... A beach you know, party. A beach party with some beach ball and a, you know, a supermodel, an ex-supermodel. Um, you know, it's nice. It's, it's, it's a great place to come and look, at, look and explore and find, you know, a variety of amazing work, so... Well, tell me, what have you been up to? What have you been busy doing? Well, um... I see that you painted I, Donald Trump. I painted Mr. Trump. I'm very, very happy. I'm discouraged, um, you know, with some of the reaction to his honesty. Um, my mother painted... Yes. You know, everyone has a right to view their opinion, but I guess when you're running for president, you have to use a little discretion. Well, do you? <laughs> I don't know. I do mean, you, you know, uh, I wouldn't. I think I, I, I think I would like a president that actually is pretty straightforward. And I'm proud. I, want, I would vote for Donald I'm Trump. I'm going to be speaker. <laughs> You're asking me the question? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, no, it's a very tif it's a difficult, it's a, it's a sensitive topic, obviously, because the man is making himself very vulnerable to a vicious, a vicious society that tends to speak only about the negative. And, our, and we're, we, as a country, are in trouble. And I agree. I, and I'm proud that I painted Mr. Trump. I'm ecstatic, so is my family and my mother, that my mother told me to paint Mr. Trump. And as every good child should do, they should listen to their mother. And my mother was not a fan of Mr. Trump. And now she is. No, 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 no. My mother became a fan at least eight or ten years ago. And I always pay attention to what my mother says. And my mother's my hero. <laughs> so she's this tall, raised four amazing, what I think children, but my brothers and sisters. And she said, Bill, I think you should consider painting Donald Trump. You should look at what he does and all the charity and all the people that love him and respect him that are close to him, including his family and his children. I mean, I mean, who's going to argue? I don't know. So I did the painting. It took four or five years to get to Mr. Trump. He bought the painting. It came out of Art Hamptons, in a sense. Can, may I ask how much it sold for? No. I'm not allowed to? You can ask how much it's worth now. How much is, yes, how much is it worth? It's um, priceless. Because, you know, when you meet a guy like that, and he buys something that I put my time, heart, love into, I wasn't even sure how good it was or whether I was done with it. My good business team told me, you know, Bill, it's done. He's going to like it. I trusted everyone, my mother included, and for him to buy it, and now him, he's running for the highest office in the world is an, is an honor. It certainly is, darling. It certainly is. I painted President Clinton and President Bush, mm -hmm. both who I learned to respect and like, and you know, we have to really understand that you know, running the United States is not an easy task. It certainly isn't. I want you to tell my audience, what are you working on now? What's your next project? Um, I think I'm going to paint Chris, Chris Kyle. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of the military. Okay, now William, tell my audience where we can go to find out more information. Where can we go? I'm sure you have a website. Of course, it's not a great website, but it's adequate. Um, do, you, do you want me to tell you my website? Yes. Just Google my name. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I'm not, you know, you, I don't know. I, you, yeah, I don't but, we follow you on Facebook? Are yeah, you on yeah, no, I don't get a lot of likes on Facebook. I mean, I get my friends and they're close well, to me. I like you. I, I like don't have 100,000 Instagram followers. But I like I like the prices my paintings are selling for. I gotta, I'm pretty proud of that. You know, I'd rather do business and have like a social network. I agree. And doing business is actually being able to influence other people to kind of follow what I think is... Again, the soldiers and what I think is important, our future as a country. You know, here I am, a painter, branding my own company per se, but I think it's what you represent is what's most important. 
So I'm going to follow you now on Facebook, William Quigley. All right? Lucky me. Lucky you. And if people want to find out more information about Art Hamptons, where can they go? I guess you talk to Sidney Lou Wakefield and Rick, Rick Friedman, who were really the, you know, the minds that kept us going. And, and the brainstorm, right? The brainstorm, yes. the persistence, and they were amazing people. Look, look at this, it's beautiful. It certainly is, darling, and Thank have you so much. fun the whole entire week. I will. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. Some more interviews coming up right here at Art Hamptons. Pink Champagne Kisses. Been a crybaby productions, darlings.